Hey everybody, it's Jamie, and for me, the countdown has already begun to the holiday season. The only thing that I like more than giving gifts and eating holiday treats is giving gifts and holiday treats. I know, it's corny, but it's true. So today I'm going to show you how you can make your own snowman mason jar. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so for this craft, you'll need a big mason jar, scissors, a writing utensil, hot glue or strong super glue, felt, puffy paint, parchment paper, white holiday candy, and hot cocoa. All right, snow time to wait. Step one. The first step is to create a snowman body onto your mason jar. Create felt buttons to attach to the center of your jar. Measure out a long strip of fabric and tie it around the lid of your jar to make a scarf. Cut out little fabric boots to glue to the jar's bottom. Glue little twigs to the side for arms. I used felt for all of my decorating, but of course you can use actual buttons instead of felt buttons or substitute stickers instead of twigs for arms and so on. Keep going until your snowman fits your desired look. The next step is to add in your snacks or candy. I poured in a layer of white chocolate pretzels a third of the way. To separate your candy, cut out a circular piece of parchment paper before placing it on top of your bottom layer. I then tossed in white peppermints another third of the way, covered it with one more circular sheet of parchment paper, and then topped everything off with mini marshmallows. If you want to access two or more treats at the same time, place a sheet of parchment paper vertically into your jar before pouring in your snacks side by side. This will allow sweet snacks like chocolate pretzels on one side and salty snacks like white cheddar popcorn on the other. Step three, all that's left to do is create your snowman's top hat. To create the body of your hat, cut out a long strip of fabric about three inches wide. Roll it into a cylindrical shape and measure it out to be slightly smaller than your jar's lid. Bind the ends of your cylinder together with strong glue to lock its shape in place. To create the brim of your hat, trace around the perimeter of your jar's lid before cutting it out with your scissors. Apply glue around the rim of your cylinder before pressing it down firmly in place on top of your hat's rim. Finally, to create the top of your hat, trace around the perimeter of your cylinder the same way you did your jar's lid and cut your fabric out with your scissors. To complete your hat, attach your fabric circle to the top of your cylinder. Adhere everything to the top of your jar's lid and now your snowman hat is complete. Now we just made a basic top hat, but another fun idea is to transform your hat into a secret hat container. Repeat all the steps for making your hat, except don't glue on the final top piece. Create another strip of fabric, only this time make it an inch longer than your original strip on all sides. Glue its ends into a cylindrical shape, which should now be big enough to fit over your original cylinder. Trace the perimeter of this new cylinder to make a new circular top. Glue it on top of your new cylinder, and now you have a new top hat cover that can easily be placed on and taken off. As for what to place inside, I think a packet of hot cocoa works perfectly to match the mini marshmallows, but this would also be great for a small orange or to hide a holiday note. Slip your item into the bottom half of your hat and then cover it up using the top portion of your new hat. And technically your snowman snack jar is ready to show off. Like I said earlier, I'm making these jars for gifting. So if you're like me, the final step is to make a gift tag. A few ideas are to draw or print out a design onto label paper before sticking it onto your jar. Or you can use something like puffy paint to write out your message on the snowman scarf, hat, or boots. This mason jar is so fun to make and there's an infinite amount of ways to make it. You could make a face for your snowman, or you could decorate the hat more with ribbon or holly, or you could change up the size of your mason jar, like having little mini mason jars as party gifts, or sectoring off medium-sized mason jars and stacking them so that way each of your snacks are sealed. I just think one big honker like this makes really good room decor when you're done eating everything inside of it, as well as a really good re-gifting option for later. And while this mason jar transforms easily into a snowman, you can make it for any holiday theme, really. Substitute red candy like Twizzlers or M&Ms in order to make a Santa. Or you could substitute brown candy like chocolate covered raisins or Tootsie Rolls in order to make more of a reindeer. You now have an adorable personalized way to give your friends and family a sweet treat this holiday season. Snow great, am I right? How did you end up making your snowman mason jar? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or let me know on my fan page on Facebook. If you loved making snowmen out of mason jars, click the video on your left to make your own snowman snow globe. And click the video on your right to place a snowman everywhere with puffy paint window decorations. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com.